What's going on guys? It's boy not adoptionism. Wow, I fucked up on my own name. Uh bringing you guys uh, the skill build setup uh counting through all the uh level points and skill points that you gain and whatnot and uh, we're going to be discussing the hunter again. Uh but this time I'm going to be going a little more in depth with his skills. So yeah, let's get into this. Now mind you again, guys, this is not has nothing to do with your items cuz items are very random in here. Uh but yeah, so, of course, just like the other video, we want to go straight down uh, the survival tree. We want to go all the way down until we get full draw, because this build is mainly going to be focused around these three right here. is full draw, stealth, and knife in the shadows, which automatically critical hits when you're in stealth. Um, so, yeah. So, like I said in the other one, um, when you do uh, routine gameplay from start to finish, it gets you to level 6. Threatening should is supposed to get you to level 8. And perilous is supposed to get you to 10. Um, so yeah, so when we hit level 2, we're going to go first blood, just because it's a 15% uh, damage bonus, and yeah, it's 15% damage bonus to enemies that pretty much have full health. Uh, and then level 3, we're going to go to second wind, uh, I mean, when you have low stamina, it uh, recovers faster, so that's good for when you use one of, like, full draw that uses, like, 65% of your stamina, so that's really good. Uh, and then... We're going to focus on the damage, passives, and stuff uh, afterwards. Yeah, and then uh, level 4, we want to get Trick of the Trade. Obviously, it increases you and your whole party's uh, static uh, status effects and damage bonuses. So that's really great. 10% really helps out a lot. Um, and then Evasion, I mean, it's I, I don't really care for it, but it, it's good for... I mean, you have to do it to get the full draw. Uh, and I wouldn't recommend uh, getting Stunning Shot because that's wasting a point. And it, the sleep duration is 20 seconds, but if anything is hit while it's sleeping, it wakes up. So that's kind of stupid. But um, yeah, full draw, of course, 800% uh, weapon damage eight, and an additional 800% at full health. So that's a combined total of 1,600% uh, damage, so that's really awesome. And plus another 50%, like I said in the other video, that puts it up to 2,400% just between these two skills right here. So that's really, really, really awesome. Uh, and then, of course, uh, right here, you automatically critical hit, which I believe critical hit is 1.5. Yeah, I think it's 150% damage. Not too sure. I might get that wrong. But anyway, I mean, regardless, a critical hit's a critical hit. I mean, this is like a one-hitter quitter class right here. Uh, so, yeah, so level 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So by level 8, you should have this bottom this bottom area done. Uh, I wouldn't recommend wasting a point on this because, uh, I mean, it's cool if you actually uh, end up uh, like having extra points at the end, so I guess we'll find out. Shit. Two, four, six. Oh, wow. Brain fart. God, I'm so stupid. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, and then, of course, we get 9, level 9, you want to get this, because uh, if their health is lower than yours, which after you already start off using full draw, and you hit them with it, damage is going to be, or their health is going to be lower, so that's pretty much a guaranteed 10%. And then I'm not too sure yet, I think it is, uh, I think it has to do maybe with enemies that are guarding with shields, I'm not too sure yet, but I have noticed there is a big damage difference uh, when you have armor penetration, so that's really great. Uh... So then we're going to come over to trapping, and then trapping, uh, you pretty much just, you want to, before you get spike trap, because spike trap is just for door trapping, and you don't really need that until you get, like, a down to the bottom. So, yeah, what we do is uh, we go Fury of the Storm, Throat Cutter, Cripple, Strafing Shots, and then Pincushion. Pincushion is another big one, because, like it says, uh, if the first arrow doesn't kill him, then the 10th uh, might, uh, pretty much each... Yeah, like it says, each consecutive hit with a bow attack does progressively more and more damage. So your first arrow is going to do 5% damage, then it's going to do 10% damage, and then 15% damage, and then it's just going to keep increasing for each one until it's dead. So that's actually really, really awesome. I, I definitely, I really love the shit out of that skill. Uh, and then Death from Above, that's completely situational because some maps don't really have much elevation to them. And uh, two meters is pretty much the equivalent to uh, one uh, standard like staircase that you would either walk down or walk up on. Like the normal ones, the average ones that I think are like ten stairs. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to really count that up for you guys. But yeah, two meters is uh, is pretty much like the the height from 
the top of that staircase down to the bottom. So, I mean, that's the only uh, uh, eh, pointer I could give you on that. But, uh, again, that's it's completely situational. And then, of course, after we get all those, then we want to get our spike trap. You could get Watcher Step, uh, so that way when you're in stealth, uh, you could pop one of those down and keep running. And it also launches them up into the air, so when they hit the ground, they take a little bit more damage. So that's really great. So, yeah, let me uh, let me go down here one more time. Uh, so we get level 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So at level 16, we're going to pretty much have, have our build pretty much done. Uh, but then you have, obviously, level 16 through 20, or 17, 18, 19, and 20. So you have four spots. Uh, what I would do is uh, I've learned that explosive shot actually isn't, Oh, excuse me, isn't that great? I mean, it's good if you if there's groups and there's a lot of people, but I'm actually probably going to switch it to Leaping Shot because I didn't realize that Leaping Shot launches 12 projectiles, and then when you upgrade it, that makes it 250% weapon damage. So 12 shots at 250% uh, weapon damage each is pretty ridiculous, especially if you're doing doorway trapping and you just launch it right in that doorway in a huge group. It's going to do massive damage, so that's actually really great. So if you do those two, it's going to put us up to level 18, which uh, gives you level 19 and level 20 to pretty much do what you want. Uh, I mean, you already have stealth and full draw, leaping shot, and uh, your spike trap, so that already takes up your rotation. So we could only go ahead and do it for the passives, uh, I, you might not, actually, yeah, I think step them up would be good, like, because, like I said, you're doing, uh, door traps, uh, that, actually doing spike trap with that, so, one quarter of that, uh, shit, I can't even think straight, uh, I think that's, like, what, 75? Yeah, 75, so that'd be 375% weapon damage, so that's really cool, uh, I don't know, like, it, those last two levels are definitely situational. Uh, elemental mines might help you with some stuff because you get burn damage and then you get shock and then you get chill which all can help affect uh, getting off uh, team combos and stuff like that so that's pretty cool especially if you do one for every five stamina and you have stuff that like like regens your stamina or anything related to that but yeah you don't even really worry about uh, the poison tree because it's not actually that fantastic but yeah, guys, uh, this is my build for the uh, the Hunter to do insane DPS and to be pretty much a badass one-hitter quitter class. Uh, obviously, the more that you promote it, uh, I believe cunning uh, increases your uh, critical hit damage or critical hit chance. I think it's critical hit damage, like, for sure. So each time that you promote it, um, that takes up your critical which is just going to let you do more and more damage with this class. So it's just a fucking beast of a class. But yeah, guys, really hope this helps you out. Um, this has been your boy, Dot. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Adoptionism. Link is down in the description below. And as always, don't forget to check out my buddy Jay's stream. All of his links are down in the description as well. And don't forget to use discount code ADOPT. That's A-D-O-P-T at 7controllers.com. The support is really fantastic. All of their links are, uh, their website's actually down in the description as well. And, um, yeah, you get a 5% off for anything that you buy at their store. And with the holidays coming up, man, you know it's going to be good. Yeah, guys, it's been your boy Adopt. Thanks for watching. Peace out.